My name is Ron Meyer. I'm Professor of Strategic Leadership here at TIAS School for Business and Society. And welcome to Meyer's Management Models, Insightful Tools to Kickstart Your Thinking. And this is installment five in which I'd like to tell you about the House of Engagement model. Now, the underlying question is, which factors can contribute to higher engagement in my organization? We're not only interested in having satisfied employees, People can be very satisfied this, uh, twiddling their thumbs. And it's not only about keeping people happy, I really want to get people motivated to reach the goals of my organization. That's what we call engagement. People buy into reaching what we as an organization would like to achieve. Now, how do I get that type of engagement? Well, here we go to the house of engagement. Uh, this is going to outline the drivers of motivated performance. And it all starts with making sure that people are doing work that they think is fun, work that is meaningful, say it's relevant. Uh, so if people like their activities, if they like the work, that's gonna to contribute to their engagement. But besides having work which is great, it's also important to get feedback on that work. People always like to, to get suggestions, uh, to, to get recognition, so, and to be seen so, for the work that they're doing. So they like the work and they're getting feedback, either feedback from their colleagues, from you, so, or feedback from customers, say, in the workplace. So that also contributes to their engagement. And it's also important that people are empowered, that they have enough authority, they have enough room to maneuver and enough resources to actually make it happen. Now, these three things together, actually, uh, they form the ground floor of our house. Together, we call this the task environment. Your work, the feedback, empowerment, this actually engages you to do so your task is in a, in a useful and meaningful way. But there's a second level to this house, and this is the level of team. Because you might like your work, but if you hate your team, that's going to really demotivate you. So let's look at the team level, what the building blocks are. It starts there with having the right team. We speak of composition. Do you really believe in the people and the group that you're with? If you think, wow, so I'm on a winning team, that can be very engaging. But not only is the composition important, it's also important that you, that you believe in the decision making, that you feel that it's done efficiently and fairly. If you feel that as a team you make the decisions in the right way and you're acting in the right way, that's also motivating. And then thirdly, it's also great to have a sense of community. If you feel that there's cooperation, there's team spirit, there's a sense of belonging, that, that, that sense of warmth, that will also be very engaging. So these are the three key elements at the team level. It's a house, so let's go to the roof. What is the roof all about? That's about, do I actually a, buy into the direction? Is that motivating to me? Of course, it's very important. Do I understand and embrace the strategy? Do I believe in that strategy? But not only the strategy itself, but I also believe in where we're going, the mission. Do I embrace that? So if I believe in the strategy and the mission, it's also important that we do get results. People like to be on a winning team. If there's no results, people will become demotivated as well. Our house is almost finished, right? But there's a ground floor and this entire house will actually tip over if there's not a strong basement. And the basement is leadership. People have to really believe in the leaders in the organization. If that's not there, so the whole house is going to crumble. There we are, the 10 basic building blocks of the house of engagement. So what are our takeaways, the key insights? Well, we need to look beyond satisfaction, motivation to real engagement. People buying in to what the organization would like to achieve. Secondly, it's your task. Engagement is all about you trying to help people to come on board. Don't expect them to, to do that all by themselves. So you can't create motivation, but you can create the right circumstances. It has these 10 dimensions that we just went through. You have to realize, of course, that it's going to differ per person. Not everyone's going to react in the same way. And most importantly, it's going to change over time. So monitor the engagement, follow it, and see in these 10 categories whether you can improve every person's engagement as you go forward. Well, hopefully a useful tool again. Hope to see you again next month.